Good morning, children. Welcome back. Today we are going to start with civics. But before beginning with the subject, let us ask few questions to ourselves. We are studying civics from past two years, but have ever we tried to find out the meaning of civics? That why this subject is included in the school syllabus? Yes, to make you aware about the rights and duties of a citizen in a country. Even we should understand the importance of civics, that how the local governments are working for the people throughout the day and night. What is the full form of civics? None other than it means cooperative involvement of volunteers in communities. Even we should understand who is the father of civics. None other than he is Sir Benjamin Franklin. He is the father of civics. So, by considering these basic points, let us start with our first chapter of civics, that is, introduction to our constitution. Let's begin with the introduction. Last year, you have studied civics. In that, you have studied that there are many reasons why you should follow rules in your life and how they are important in your life. Why rules are necessary in our lives? We follow rules and norms in order that the activities that we are carrying out in the family, in school, village, city are carried out in a smooth way. That is, there should not be any kind of restrictions, any kind of hurdle. When we are following these rules, we should be perfect, we should be sincere to follow these rules. When you are living in a society, you are bound to follow the rules in the society. Now, every now and then you are hearing this word, rules. And you might all be fed up by hearing these rules. Why these rules are there? It should not be mentioned anywhere. We should be free. As we want to live, we can live. But no, rules are very important to make you a systematic, disciplined person in the life. So, there are no rules in the family, but there are norms about the behavior of members in a family. What are norms? They are something that is typical, usual or standard. When you live in a family, you know that there are no rules. Parents are caring for you. They are having affection towards you. So, they show their affection to you by Asking you to do certain things. They are not asking you to follow the rules. And it is a hard and fast rule. But a bonding is there among your family members with you. So, they care for you and they provide you a safety. Just take the example of today's scenario what we all are facing with. Yes, coronavirus. And every now and then you can see advertisement is there on television. Regarding sanitizing your hands, washing your hands. After coming uh, home, you should clean yourself properly, you should take bath, you should be very careful. So, even parents are asking and you must be fed up that what now and then I should wash my hand, wash my feet, but it is for your safety. So, when you come to school, even in the schools, there are rules regarding the admission. You know that you need to fill a form. There is certain criteria that need to be fulfilled and after that only you get admissions. Uniform is there. You cannot come to school with the colorful dresses. Yes, there is a particular pattern and you need to follow that uniform. Even studies, you know that exams have been conducted. Unit tests are there, semesters are there. After completing academic year, you move on to the next class. Different competitions are conducted in the school. And when these competitions are conducted, rules are there. You need to follow the rules. If you don't, then you are disqualified. Or foul is been there. So, we should be very careful when we are following the rules. We should understand the, its importance. The next is village or city. The administration of our village or city is also carried out in accordance with rules. If rules are not there, then everyone will be willing to follow them by their own way. Anybody will break the traffic rules and will move the vehicle and this can result in accidents. We hear on television in the news channels that how accidents are taking place. 
when the person is not following the rules and is going against them in the same way when the administration is there for the country now administration for the country is also in a bigger sense and there is a set of rules that need to be followed in the country also when we live in a country it's mandatory that we should follow the rules of the country just take the example of aadhar card you know that this is a mandatory document that proves that you are a citizen of india in the same way when you live in a society you need to follow the rules of the society for different things rules are there and only the reason is behind that that everyone should understand the importance of life and follow these rules to make the life a safe now when we speak about the rules in the family we know that there are no rules in the family but there are rules in the school village or city but these rules are limited in nature they are not expanded as compared to the rules in a country the rules or provisions about the administration of a country are much wider in scope as compared to the rules mentioned in the school in the village or in a city just take the example of a bucket and a mug the bucket filled with water it consumes more amount of water as compared to mug that means the work of bucket is more rather than a mug in the same way the work the rules meant for the country are much wider are much broader as compared to the rules of a city or a village so we should understand the importance of the rules when we are living in a country so from this what we can conclude that the school village or city are smaller and their rules are also less as compared to the country your country is having more rules the set of rules are need to be followed by everyone we know that the rules that are meant for the village for the school or for the city are a small set of rules but still we need to follow on the other hand the rules that are meant for the country are much wider the provisions about the administration of the country is wider why because on the whole the country is very big and accordingly the council of ministers decides a set of rule to run the country before deciding they require a planning and accordingly implementation is done for the rules just take the examples of the celebrations during the time of celebrations like ganpati and navratri you know that previously loudspeakers were put till the midnight but now it's completely banned you cannot put the speakers after 10 o'clock if you break this rules there is a penalty for that so it's very important when we live in a country we need to follow certain rules for the upliftment of the country here samir and vandana are in a confusion they are in a puzzle and they would wish to ask few questions let's see what questions they are asking where can we find all the rules according to which the administration of a country is carried out who makes those rules is it binding on us to follow them now let's find out the answers for this question in the following text meaning of the constitution what is a constitution the book in which all the provisions regarding the administration of the country are mentioned together in a systematic way is called a constitution now the constitution consists of the set of rules that need to be followed by every citizen of the country it also includes fundamental duties rights that need to be followed even it includes certain articles 
related to any of the activities that are followed in the country. The pro constitution is a kind of guidance that provides to every citizen of the country. The constitution is in a written form and the provisions related to the administration of the country are mentioned in the constitution. So it helps us to provide guidance related to any of the activities. Government is established by the representatives elected by the people. You all must be aware that the elections are conducted every year. Elections that are of municipality. And we elect a representative that is a mayor of the city who looks after the work of the city, the welfare of the city. On the other hand, elections related to country are also held and that are held after every five years. We elect the ministers and accordingly they work for the country. They look after the welfare of the country. It is bound to carry out the administration of the country as per the provisions of the constitution. Now they need to follow certain sets of rules and regulations that are mentioned in the constitution. They cannot work as per their convenience. They need to follow the rules that are mentioned in the constitution. Rules and provisions in the constitution are the basic or fundamental law of the land. We know what are rules and why we follow these rules. In the same way, provisions are also mandatory to follow. What are provisions? The action of providing or supplying something for use. So, it's very important that these things are mentioned in the constitution and accordingly one should follow these things. While making laws, the government is bound to follow the constitution. That is, whenever government is elected. So, it's very important that government should follow the rules that are mentioned in the constitution. They cannot decide anything by themselves. They need to take the permission before implementing any of the plans or activities. If it does not do so, then the judiciary can declare those laws null and void or unconstitutional. That is, the judiciary, the law is having full right to deny with any of the activities that are not in the consideration of constitution. They will declare these activities as invalid. Null and void means what? Invalid. They are not valid and they cannot be implemented in the country. So, it's very important whatever rules and regulations we are following, we should ask, we should take the permission not only for us but it is mandatory for the government also because we know that government is for the people, by the people and of the people. So, government should also take into consideration these rules. Provisions in the constitution are about different things. For example, citizenship. A person legally recognized as a member of a country. Now, we know that there are certain documents that tells us, yes, that we are the members of the country. We have already discussed one about that is your Aadhaar card. Even voter card tells us that, yes, they are the citizen of the country. The rights of citizens. There are different rights of citizens. Just take the example, freedom of speech, right to freedom of education. Then right to select any of the religion. You can migrate from one state to another state. There would be any kind of restriction. That is your right. That is your wish. The relationship between citizens and the state. It's very important that there should be a communication between the citizens and the state. If it is not so, then the country may not run in a smoother way. Obstacles may be there. So, a good communication should be there between citizens and the state. Subjects of the law to be made by the governments. That is, it's very important when a government is running, there should be certain criteria by the government for the smooth running of the country. Laws should be made so that any activity that has been there should not create any obstacle and a proper decision should be taken against that if it is denied. Elections are conducted. We know that elections are there. Elections related to your municipal uh, corporation, 
elections related to your councils of ministers related to state so these elections are conducted after a year or after every 5 years restrictions on government that is even for the government restrictions are there we have studied previously that law is meant for the government also government cannot rule by themselves we know that we are living in a democratic country and government is for the people by the people and of the people so it's very important that government should also implement the rules that are there for them jurisdiction of the state now what it means that is the official powers to make decision now we know that uh, what all condition is there that because of this pandemic crisis everywhere lockdown is been there to save the life of people and it has been asked to stay at home to look after your health so that has been what that is a official decision taken lockdown you cannot uh, say in a day that from next day onwards lockdown is there and you need to stay at home there should be certain planning and because of that planning only the planning has been implemented and to save the life of the people this lockdown had been there we come to know by seeing the ppt that how the rights are been there for the citizens of the country and how they are using these rights so in the same way the laws that are made by the government are decided by the group of ministers a proper planning is done and after that only the laws have been implemented for the smooth running of the country when these laws are made it is abided by the government that they should also follow the laws and if these laws are not been followed then the other council of ministers who are superior they are having full right to deny these laws almost all countries have accepted the principle of governance according to a constitution that is the constitution is having a set of rules fundamental duties and the government had accepted these duties and rules and accordingly they try to implement in the country also but the constitution may not be similar in every country it may have certain different points the set of rules may be different the fundamental duties may be different the laws may be different and there are differences of history also that is background of the constitution or background of a country social structure the society cultures and traditions we can see that the culture of the countries that are present may not be similar to the culture of our country that is india similarly their needs and objectives also might be different as per the convenience of the people the needs and objectives are set and there are certain changes made flexibility is there in the constitution as per the convenience of the country certain required changes can be made in the constitution and accordingly these changes have been followed it may not be similar that is why we can see that every now and then we are having a new addition in the constitution with the new set of rules and the laws every time similar laws may not be there as per the changes in the situation laws are also implemented and accordingly they have been followed in the country thank you children for watching the video i hope you all have understood the concept of constitution what is constitution what are the provisions of constitution how the set of rules and the fundamental duties are mentioned in the constitution and it is abide to follow by the government as well as the citizen of the country even we have seen the provisions in the constitution on what criteria they have been judged i hope the concept is clear meeting you all in the next video with some more points related to the constitution have a good day bye bye